This is Behind the Buzz with Robin at CleanBuzz.com. Hey everyone, I have a special treat for you today. We're at NARS in Garden State Plaza, New Jersey in the Fashion District. So the talk of the town is audacious mascara. It's gonna go right in, up my eyelashes, and go right on up. Now I'm the kind of girl that's all about just a little lip gloss, a little bit of eyeshadow, Maybelline, CVS quality kind of makeup. But being a NARS today, I've had a great experience and I'm really excited to tell you that I'm about to go for my very first professional makeover so that you can see the product for yourself. Talk a little bit about what your makeup wardrobe looks like, looks like at home. It kind of looks like CVS threw up all over my makeup bag. <laughs> okay, so you have a lot of like household names like Maybelline, Maybelline Alme. Right. Okay, that's great. So we're gonna step it up just a little bit and get a little bit more progressive in terms of like using things that you okay. can use on the go. That would be great. Um, my main focus for my life and a lot of what Queen Buzz represents is women who are on the go. So the right. woman that gets up early, puts sure. makeup on in the morning, then maybe yeah. picks up her kids from school, goes to the gym, you know, goes with friends to the coffee house, doesn't need too much touching right. up, but just kind of like an all day kind of wear. Absolutely, okay. So I'm gonna show you one of my favorite products that basically is like a little facial in a bottle. Okay. on the go, like always has to go through changes in terms of skin. Okay. She goes through different uh, skin cycles, which is dryness. Um, she needs to just take off those dead skin cells. And okay. it's literally the best toner on the market. Great. You just take two to three pumps of this bad boy and you just go in a circular motion. It's gonna infuse moisture, which is hyaluronic acid, and then it's going to dissolve dead skin cells in the most gentle, non-aggressive way at all. And so, what's the, doesn't it feel nice? There's no fragrance, it's oil-free, it's paraben-free. You would so, like this, ladies. <laughs> this is a good treatment. And you don't have to go to your dermatologist to get the results that you're going to find good. from this product. You can also wear it on, or remove dead skin cells on the lips, which is a huge issue that for is, most especially people. Especially in the summertime, you don't realize you're getting sunburned. Exactly. You just let it sit there for just a little bit, and it removes it. Second product, if your skin reacts to you know the environment and it doesn't keep your foundation on and the longevity is just like a couple of hours, apply this. This is our oil-free primer. Oil primer. We are known for our primers because it's one of the best um, long-wearing staples in your mm. makeup bag. So now what we're going to do is we're going to focus on complexion. Okay. This is a tinted moisturizer that acts like a tinted moisturizer. Okay. It's very moisturizing, but has the quality of a foundation if you want it to be, which okay. or the texture of a foundation. But it keeps your skin looking like skin. Okay. And this has SPF 30 in it. Okay. It's fragrance free, paraben free as well. You can whip this on right after you've applied your facial in a bottle Ooh. product. <laughs> and a pea size goes a long way. So all you want to do is start from the center of the face and work your way out. I'm glad. I'm. I'm happy that you're applying with your fingers, not using complicated brushes. Yeah, Mr. Nars is a huge advocate for using your fingers because it warms up to the skin, mm. and it makes foundation look like skin. And you want to have an intimate experience with your foundation. You don't want it to be so tool oriented because then you lose touch of what you're actually applying. Um, and this is Casino, and what this Casino. is going to do is it's going to counterbalance 
the undertones in your skin. So you have a lot of warmth right in here. Now we want to match that, but we don't want it to look unnatural. So I'm going to use the powder so that it stays on most of the day. Okay, so what I'm going to follow this with is a really pretty multiple. So Mr. Nars pioneered this idea. It's a really easy on-the-go type of product that you can just put on the balls of the cheek and give, her, give me a smile. Perfect. And I'm going to work it into the skin almost like it's pizza dough. Ooh. I'm not going to smear it on my skin because then that's just going to make it look too sheer and it's not going to show up. So this will act like your blush but also your highlighter. So these are powder pencils. So what okay. this is going to do, it's not going to look like you drew your eyebrow in. It's just going to fill it in and counterbalance the structure of your face. And that's the objective of filling in your eyebrows. Okay. And I'm just going to follow the natural shape of your brow as if it's a coloring book. And since this is a powder pencil that reacts to the oils in your hair, it's not going to give off the impression that you're wearing too much in your brow. The eyes are typically the windows of the soul, but nowadays it's the window of how much sleep you got last night and how you're feeling in life. And your eyes are beautiful, so I'm going to just bring Thank out your you. natural color. Um, do we want to do a liquid liner or do we want to do a typical liner? I think I want to try a typical liner. How is um, the new Audacious liner? I love it. It's as if Miss Via Veneto and Black Moon got married. We, one's really malleable and one's just, it stays put, doesn't go anywhere. It's, it's the best of both worlds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply it across the lash line. Okay. okay. Go ahead and close. Tight lining is excellent for giving the impression that you have thicker, more volumized lashes. And with your lashes, you're just going to start making people more jealous. So I'm just taking a really nice, compressed brush, and I'm just going to smudge it with a really pretty, natural brown. And go ahead and close. I'm going to work my way up and just smudge it. Just so that it doesn't look so obvious that we're wearing black liner. So this mascara is packed with moisturizers. Now that sounds kind of scary because you're like, well, I don't want wet lashes. But that's right. not the idea. What the idea is is that you're able to build and create the lash that you want throughout the day without it feeling dry and without it flaking onto the face. Okay. You go to close? Perfect. And you already have to beautiful shape and, and a nice lash, so I'm just going to focus more on the ends to give it more of that cat effect. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the ends of the lashes okay. and I'm going to work my way out. Now if I want it to look natural, I'm just going to wiggle it from the lash line and, and pull and up just a little bit, but I'm okay. not going to let it extend to the to the end of the lash, okay. because then that gives the impression that you're wearing a lot of mascara. Okay. But for the evening, pack it on and make it look nice and thick, because it's really going to give you that, that almost that false lash effect. It basically just has fibers in it that are known as humectants, okay. and so they build upon each other and just create a nice, luscious, healthy lash. Wow. That's really cool. It has this really pretty bronzy effect and a little bit of pink in it, but without the, um, the peach. Mm. So it gives you almost that sun-kissed effect, but a very natural, everyday look for any season as well. I like that sun kiss look, it's very yeah, natural. Yes. Exactly. What's the name of this? And this is called Luster. Now, in terms of lipsticks, we think of those as accessories, something that okay. you're going to add to your wardrobe. Now these are the these are two they're technically this is technically a red pink. Okay. And this is a traditional red. I like to I like to have her in my makeup bag because she's always gonna be able to be that classic red that I'm looking for. And then she's always going to be that fun pink red that everyone's going to look at me and just like envy the color. Okay. So you should have both in your makeup wardrobe. Great. And when you put them together, they make a beautiful couple as well. Okay. So I'm going to start with Jungle Red just to give it a little bit more of that classic red, but then to brighten up the skin with Jungle Red. Great. And I'm going to start from the center of the lip and I'm going to work my way out. I want to almost give it sort of an effortless effect. This will also help me create the bow of your lip. Now these lipsticks are one of our cult classics. This lipstick specifically is a cult classic. This is um, basically literally how it sounds. It's a lipstick in a stick. <laughs> so 
and open it just a little bit. This has a velvet matte texture, so it's not going to go anywhere. It doesn't transfer. It doesn't stain the lip. It just has a really pretty consistency. There it is. <laughs> I'm all done. Thank you so much. It was such a it's pleasure. Such a great job. Thank you. Please don't forget to visit NARS at Garden State Plaza in the Fashion District in Paramus, New Jersey. You're definitely going to have a great look. Over and out. Boom buzz. <laughs> Audacious. It means crazy. <laughs>